Hello, I am Ms. Carter. I'm going to be your health and fitness teacher. I'm very excited to have you in the course. It's been my lifelong goal teaching others about health and fitness and keeping people physically active. I enjoy doing anything outside with my three boys, whether it's biking, swimming, or playing soccer. And I am married to a wonderful man who enjoys exercising with me as well. Hi, I'm Xander. I'm Maddox. I'm Quest. I hope through this course you will learn how to apply all these health concepts you are going to learn. If you have any questions after watching the welcome video, please write them down so during your welcome call we can talk about them. Thank you. So first, when you get into the course, you log into your FLVS account through flvs.net, and then you go to log in right here and choose County Virtual School. Well, once you get in the course, this is the first page you will see. It is called the announcement page. From here, you can see all different places you need to go. There's a help site on every announcement page that can help you with every assignment. This is also important because it has my office hours and the phone numbers you can reach me at. From this page, you can go to the top right here. This is Lessons. And if you click on Lessons, it's going to be different for each health course you are taking. You have each segment right here. Like this is segment 1, 2, and 3. And if you click on it, all the assignments that you need to complete are right there. After you complete the assignment, then you will go into the Assessments tab, right here. And this will show you all the assignments that you need to complete in order to finish the segment that you were in. After you complete an assignment, or take a quiz, or a test, or complete a DBA, you go into your gradebook. From there, in your gradebook, you can see the scores on everything you have completed. You can see if you want to retake an exam or redo an assignment. Remember, you have up to three attempts, so you can make sure that you are mastering the information that you are given, and you can resubmit it that way. Please remember, it is important to be working in the course. During the grace period, which is the first three weeks in the course, you want to be working and submitting work. If you drop the course before the grace period is over, this course will not go on your record. If you drop the course after the grace period is over, now the course will affect your student record. Once you are in your gradebook, you can see all the important assignments. Here's an example of your DBA. If you click on DBA, as it opens, you will see what is expected from you. It explains everything you need to do for your DBA and the questions you will answer right here after we speak. Then you write the questions into that box. You click Submit for Grading right here, and this will change to Submit for Grading. Remember, if you have any questions as you are going along in the course, you can text me at any time. A few things not to forget is please work each week in the course. You need to work each week to stay active in the class. Another thing to remember is always to submit your own work. Academic integrity is very important. And the third thing to remember is to stay active. This class is about physical fitness, learning to be healthy mentally and physically. If you have any questions at any time, please always reach out to me. Well, that is the end of the welcome video, and it looks like you're getting ready to get started. All you have to do now is text me the password fitness and your name, and we will set up a time to complete your quick welcome call. It's just a call where I can talk to you and get to know you so I can get you started in the class. If you have any questions, please text me them as well. I look forward to speaking to you soon, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.